Hey guys, and welcome back to Follow Me, I'm a Foodie India. Today is really exciting. You guys have been asking us to eat Punjabi food, and we, we found, found some. <laughs> so we're in Amarillo, Texas. We're at this place called It's a Punjabi Affair. And this is really interesting because it's kind of like a Punjabi Daba. We have uh, we have cars on both sides of us on the road. We're out in this kind of little hut almost. And uh, we're starting with some appetizers. So this is Amber Sir Fish. I don't know if I said that all right, but it looks really good. This red color hopefully means spicy. Wow. Mm. Look at that. So tender. It just falls apart. Wow, that's so good. That's really nice. Mm. I'm going to try it with a little pickle here. Me too. So it's like the way they cooked it. The outside is a tiny bit crunchy. Mm. But it's not, like you said, it's not super spicy. They didn't put a ton of flavor on it, so it's just very, very fresh. Absolutely delicious fish. A little bit of crunch, a little bit of spice. Not hot at all, but it's got a nice kick to it. These little pickled veggies go on here really nice. Mmm. Just look how flaky that is. Mmm. Wow. I'm a fish fanatic, <laughs> and this is legitimately some of the best fish that I've had it's really great. in a really long time. Mm. Wow. There's more fish in there, and I want to eat it, but... We want to eat it all, but mm. we want to show you what we have next here. So this... Loaded samosa. Yes. There's fresh ginger on top. There's some, looks like cilantro or parsley, more pickled onions. And then it looks like there is some fried. Is that fried garlic? Yes, fried garlic. Okay. And then the samosa is potato and pea. And it's been kind of broken up underneath, so. This is exciting. We messed up and we got one spoon. So Chad's gonna have to wait for my first bite. Okay. Are you going slow on purpose? No. <laughs> Wow, tons of flavor. There's like a, I think a yogurt. I see that and there, samosa on Right there. in between the samosa and all the chutney. It's really like you take a bite and just mm. burst the flavor and the crunch from the onion. Wow. Now you're making me wait, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> so there's chickpea, I taste potato. There's some pickled onions in there. And then there's tamarind. There's mint. There's little mint. I like the mint a lot. And then... Mm. And then as you eat it, you're finding more, more treasure in there. That yogurt on top adds this nice acidity to it. The crunch from the samosa, I really like that. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a home run. That is, and the yogurt makes it nice and creamy smooth too. So the owner told us that this is something that you would see as like a street food in Punjabi. So. Uh, Y'all let us know, is this something that you eat on a regular basis? Is this something that you see? Or is this more of like a American twist? Because um, it feels kind of fusion to me more That's than it really does. Good. But let us know in the comments. We're very curious. So far, the appetizers have been absolutely phenomenal. Yep. I cannot wait to get to the entrees. We're going to eat a little bit more of this, and then we'll be back with entrees just as soon as they're ready. The first entree we're starting with is a Punjabi biryani, and so this has papadam instead of naan, and there is this amazing chicken. Like, this thing is beautiful. There's so much color in here. There's fresh ginger on top of that as well. I'm eating this first. Go for it. Actually, I want some rice in here. This looks so good. Oh, big Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Super messy. I didn't even get any of the chicken there. I accidentally got too much chicken. <laughs> that biryani is crazy. The flavor is so different from the biryani we've had before. It is. It's almost like it has a sauce inside it. Like it's got definitely more spices, but way more moisture. The other one a we had was not dry by any means, but this is. It's almost like the very tender mm. rice. Very, very tender rice. Oh my gosh. And then the onions on here. They look like they're grilled onions, but they look like they're cooked a little bit different from what was on the other plate that we had. It's so good. This doesn't stick together as easily as the other biryani. Mm. 
Mm. So it's a little bit messier. Did you see that bite I just took? Was it a good one? Did he do good? Don't like let me know. <laughs> was, uh... Don't let me know if he's like eating right or if he's still slam dunking. <laughs> so I've been struggling. We've been trying to get this down for like Ooh, several I mean, videos I mean, worth. And uh, I think I finally figured out how to use my thumb to shove it in there. Let's let's slow mo this one. Not really. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I think you did it, babe. Good job. Boom. I'm practically an Indian now. Yeah. Great job. This is delicious. I can't say enough good things about it. I know. This is really amazing. It is so different than what we had before. I don't know if I like it better, the same. I gotta try it with a little bit of this papa down here. There are golden raisins in here. I just had a raisin. I wasn't sure what it was, so I just ate it. That's so interesting. Mmm. It's great that gives it a little bit of texture. Look at this, all these little mm. seasoning, all the seeds in here. So when y'all told us to try all these different kinds of biryani, I didn't really understand because we tried a couple kinds at the same place and it was very seed, similar, yeah. but this is a totally different flavor profile. The uh, the sauce in here makes all the difference in the world. It's so, so interesting. It is so interesting. Look at that beautiful bite. Mm. This is delicious. I'm in love here. Me too. Mm. I can't get enough. We have a lot left oh. to eat. <laughs> We're going to be eating on this So we really bit. should uh, move on before we finish this thing off. So we gotta clean up our little mess here. Look, look, look at Joy's mess this time. Barely comparatively. This is uh, this is oh, awesome though. Shirt, though. We'll get this cleaned up and then we have some butter chicken. <laughs> that Punjabi style biryani was crazy good. What we're gonna try next is called lentil detox. At least that's what they call it here. It's got five kind of lentils, a really nice kind of uh, spicy curry Amazing and then it comes aroma. with naan and papadam so excited to try this one out it smells so good i'm a big lentil fan mm. this is really nice mm. i can't wait to eat some of this naan with it it's so fluffy that is unbelievable this is a vegetarian dish i feel like i'm eating hearty texas chili yeah <laughs> right yeah. You i mean i never know this didn't have meat in it I think it's better than chili, honestly, just because it's so much more smooth. It is so good. Sometimes chili can be kind of bleh. This is anything but bland. Look, you can still see the vegetables in there. Look at that. Beautiful. Five different kind of levels here. The dawn is so fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like this. Wow. That is really spectacular. Yeah, I had no idea until we started really like exploring different Indian food, how much we love lentils. Here, here's a bite with some rice. Just so good looking. Mm, so good. Great the, rice. The fresh vegetables and mm. like the seasonings that they put on top just really make it pop. Mm. This doesn't have the really strong curry flavor even though it's definitely got curry in it yeah they said they've got some it really lets the earthiness kind of of those lentils come through and, and it really a little bit spicy i was hoping it was going to be really spicy but it's not <laughs> but i do have a nice little nose run going but this entire dish here is probably the healthiest thing that we're eating tonight <laughs> And it this just, <laughs> it, it really is delicious. It has so much incredible flavor. I'm always surprised by vegetarian dishes when I go to an Indian restaurant. But really, amazing, this tastes yeah. as much yeah. like meat. I mean, it really, it's like a good solid chili. Mm. Mm, delicious. Wow. So normally I am definitely a naan person. Like I love a little bit of gravy on top of naan. It just changes. It's so good. But today my favorite is this really thin pop it on here with this because of the texture that it adds to this meal. It's just so crunchy and so delicious. This is absolutely amazing. If you've never had this before, it's like a really, really crunchy chip. Super with a little bit better flavor. Yeah. Combo is great. So the last dish that we're having this evening is something that we've had before, but we didn't find out until today that this was actually invented in 1947 in Punjabi. And this is butter chicken. So we're really excited to try it from its origin. Of course, we need to go to Punjabi 
of course. To really have it from its origin. But so the rice, I didn't notice until just now, the rice pieces are so much longer. This looks amazing. Mm. So I've always heard, or at least thought, that butter chicken came from belly. I don't know why. But the fact that it came from Punjab makes it really interesting we for had this meal in here, particular. Yeah. <laughs> it is really good. This gravy is crazy. It is so tasty. It's killer. There's mm. there's like an underlying, it's super creamy the first bite you take. But then there's underlying, almost like acidic, not spicy yet. I'm sure that'll kick in soon. But acidic, and then you taste all of the different seasoning. Mm -hmm. You taste all the flavors. And it's very like, you know, people say eye opening. This is like taste bud explosion. Like, oh my God, what's happening? This is very different from any butter chicken that I've ever had. And she nailed it on the head. It's got a little acidity to it that that is just completely different mm. and really, really delicious. I'm super excited to eat. Mm. Because it is so different from the other butter chicken we've had. I had no idea that there could be, just like with the biryani, we had no idea that there could be so many different kinds of butter chicken. But this is incredible. And with this in particular, I'm really picking up very different flavors when I have it with the papadon or the naan or the, the rice. It really is crazy how much it changes the flavor. Mm -hmm. My favorite is with the rice, which I'm normally not that big That's of a rice guy. Too. But I love this butter chicken with the rice. It really just keeps the butter chicken mm. the star. It's so amazing. Well, did we try all the right things for a Punjabi restaurant? If we didn't, let us know what we missed. We'll find another place. We will eat more food. Yeah, if you're from that region, let us know if we missed something. I mean, we got everything we could here that had that Punjabi menu. But but what is the most popular thing? What did we miss? We're about to go on some trips and maybe we can find it. So make sure and tell us in the comments what you want us to eat from Punjab next. This was really, really good. This was a ton of fun. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We thoroughly are enjoying this. Um, we are very much looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks for all your love and support. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.